Welcome everyone to Clarky's Closet, a podcast. And today we go to a school reunion. 30 years after the events of school. Who will be what? Who will be successful? Who will not? Yes, you're always going to be surprised, aren't you? The nerdy kid in the corner, nobody likes much, and the kid who skips along in primary school and often eats alone, often become incredibly wealthy, while the cool dudes end up doing nothing, nothing at all. They end up absolute losers. You can tell I'm a very compassionate man. But sometimes the kids who really are quite big bullies at school turn out to be not very much and they don't achieve very much in their lives. Whereas some people, and I find it's the kids with the single focus usually, they know what they want to do and they uh, just pursue it and do it really well. Whereas some other people who are too busy flicking back their flaxen curls, and I was thinking of the boys more than the girls in this instance, end up... uh, really achieving nothing. And this is uh, largely a show about that sort of thing. What becomes of people many, many years after they leave school? Well, as I said last week, if you uh, happen to hear my show on Dodge City, which was my the musical before this, this one, I have not actually written this script. I never got around to it. I did all the songs first, and I've got the basic idea of the meeting and and what happens there. I've got a few jokes ready to go, but I never actually wrote it. So I can't really tell you much about the show, but I can tell you bits and pieces I have have in mind at the moment. The first song I'm going to play you is called Boom Chugga Lugga, and it's about the boys who uh, like to drink and carry on and think they're pretty tough. Don't forget, this is Australian, so, uh, you know, there's there's references to, to things like Maccas. They don't call it Maccas in America, as we do in Australia, McDonald's, uh, that sort of thing. But it it is Australian, but at the same time, I think it's universal. At least I like to think so. Have a listen to this one anyway. This is about guys who, you know, what do they say? Toxic masculinity spoils the party once again. Have a listen to this one. Cool, I bought my crack, my screw, white back is showing off my new tattoo. Who are you? Impressed? I'm showing you my underwear, I'm showing you my hairless chest. I drink all night, hanging out of Maccas in the car park, trying to pick a fight. I live real fast. I'm a fighter and a brother, a badass and a lover. There's never been another brother cover so much cool as me. Jump, jump, jump. 
Yes, and so it is often that the kids who think they're going to do well in life, who think they're pretty good at school, are not always the ones who do well in life. There's a love story in this particular show. This is a song sung by one of the characters. I haven't even named her yet, but she, years and years ago, was in love with one of the boys who was in love with her, but it just never worked out. That falling star was just a meteor, as she puts it in the song. This one is called Our Falling Star. We walked the sand You took me by the hand And promises were made As promises are You took my love Which I gave freely of We took our vows upon a falling star told me that you'd always love me You told me that you'd always care You told me that I'd never be lonely If only because you'd be there Our falling star Was just a meteor Fell faster than its fall You told me that you'd always love me Those of you who've been listening to these podcasts and have heard the beautiful voice of Jessica Sampronio over the last eight shows might, if you are observant, note that this is a different young lady singing. It's in fact my daughter, Imogen Clark, who is a very fine musician and has a lovely voice, and I thank her very much for using it in on these songs. So that is one of the love stories. And there's another one, I think, again, I'm just... Not sure, because I haven't actually nutted out the plot. However, well, the the plot is basically there's a school reunion, but all of the stories, I haven't worked those out. The next one's called Take It or Leave It, and I don't know, I guess some of you guys would know what it's like when you say something that you really do regret later on. And there's an old saying, isn't there, that if you speak in anger, you'll make the best speech that you will ever regret. Well, in this case... When he gets on the telephone and he says, listen, take it or leave it, and she leaves it, he makes the best speech that he ever regretted. I said, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it, take it or leave it either way. I don't care if you were staying or leaving. Doesn't matter much, doesn't matter much to me either way. First there was silence, as solid as stone. I'm the only peeping off the telephone I said, take it or leave it Take it or leave it, take it or leave it either way Heavenly surprise when I first saw you How you stole my breath away I turn up on my side to see your sweet face Smiling face Now and ever I lie in the 
darkness I cry Won't the let of me And in my mind I can see it Though I know I can never retrieve it Though I know your love won't come my way again And now whenever I cry In the darkness and the dream Of what has been In my mind I can see Take it or leave it either way I don't care if you were staying or leaving It doesn't matter much, doesn't matter much to me either way This next song was actually, I think it was, it was the second song that I ever wrote on the guitar. I was, I'd started writing on the bass. I uh, first started writing at the age of 14, but they, those songs were all basically bass riffs with a melody line and my brother playing drums with me. However, when I started playing acoustic guitar, I really started songwriting in earnest, you could say, and this was the second one I ever wrote. And I thought it fitted really well with this sort of idea of the school reunion. It's a jazzy kind of a little number about the kid at school who really doesn't have a very good time, who gets bullied, maybe he's a little overweight, maybe he's not very good looking. Uh, But maybe this is a song about maybe how, uh, if that's the case, well, you just got to get outside your door, put on that warm coat and get into life. This one's called Jason Edward Robinson. Edward Robert Robinson Took to bed his special lady Consequently had a not so special baby boy Jason, as the child was called Wasn't very good to look at Wasn't smart, but was as fat as hell Now Jason is it cold outside your door? Now Jason didn't take to school School just did not take to Jason Teachers weren't too mad about him Children called him names in a world of pretty people Jason couldn't clear the steeples Fell flat on his face And tasted the mud Ah, Jason 
Is it cold outside? Ah, Jason, is it cold outside? You poor boy, don't cry if it's raining. No good complaining A young man You must stand tall Oh, it's hurting It's no good you crying You gotta get up Put on a warm coat And get outside you dumb Robinson took to bed his special lady. Consequently, had a not so special baby boy. Peter, as the child was called, wasn't very good to look at. But he sure as hell grew fat on love. A Jason. Is it cold outside? A Jason. Is it cold outside? You poor boy, don't you cry? Although it's raining, it's no good complaining. Stand tall, although it's hurting. No good, you're crying. You gotta get up, put on a warm coat. Although it may not fit you, get up, put on a warm coat, and get outside your door. Get out of your door. Get out of your door. The love stories abound in this school reunion, 30 years on. Everybody remembers their first love, I guess. My wife was saying to me just recently that in that they talk about Romeo and Juliet being you know, 13 and 14 and how they really uh, you know, didn't love each other. It was puppy love and all that sort of stuff, and kids don't know what they're feeling. But I, uh, as she said, I think quite sagely, she said, well, in some ways, it's the most unadulterated love. Uh, you don't know w- what being hurt is at that time. You know, love can really knock you about. I'm sure most of you would uh, agree with that to some extent. But this is a story really about how people just didn't quite get together. And they ended up not doing so well and not really connecting with themselves or other people, certainly not with each other. And this one's called Down Oblivion's Road. I drove my woman's love away Down oblivion's road With booze and infidelity One day my heart just broke She soon grew tired of all the lies And anger I suppose She never chased or followed was my destiny never followed me down oblivion's road down oblivion's road he found another valentine he left one withering rose upon the winter window sill beside this withering note I love you but cannot abide the anger in us both He never chased or followed me It was my destiny never followed me Down oblivion's road Down oblivion's road Too many times in life we see the circle The circuit is complete Too late to 
we see the folly of our actions and our lessons learned too late for us to remedy. I've been drifting endlessly down in oblivion's run. No love to soothe or comfort me, no help to bear life's load. She soon grew tired of all the lies and anger, I suppose. She never chased or followed me. It was my destiny, never followed me down a living road. It was my destiny, never followed me down a living road. Down a living road. Down a living road. Which brings us to the final song for today, or tonight, depending upon where you are listening, from whence you are listening, not listening from, never end a sentence with a preposition. I think that one's outdone, that's its time, hasn't it really? We don't worry about ending sentences with prepositions. What is a preposition And you say? I have a preposition for you. Okay, this last one is called Somebody Told Me That You Love Me. So trying to end on a slightly happier note, there is another song after this. But nonetheless, we're going to end today's show on this one. Somebody told me that you loved me. Somebody told me that you loved me A little bird, I can't remember who But I've been wondering, thinking about it And here's the thing, well, could I maybe walk a while with you? Somebody told me that you loved me side of the river and we'll laugh like we used to do For I have much to tell you dear and much to hear from you Come with me to the side of the river for life's waters run so fast Boys grow to men and soon regret things they once said in anger in the past Somebody told me that you loved me Somebody told me that you A loved me A little bird I can't remember who A little bird I can't remember who I'm wondering if it's not too late For me to set the record straight If I could maybe walk a while with you Come with me to the side of the river And we'll laugh like we used to do for I have much to tell you, dear, and much to hear from you. Come with me to the side of the river, for life's waters run so fast. Boys grow to men and soon regret things they once said in anger in the past. Somebody told me that you loved me. Somebody told me that you loved me. A little bird, I can't remember who A little bird, I can't remember who But I'm wondering if it's not too late For me to set the record straight And tell you that I've never stopped loving you And on that note, we're going to finish today's podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. After that song, basically everybody's happy and there's a big song that ends the play, which is uh, Sunshine and Rain, which is, of course, what makes up life, isn't it? Sunshine and rain up and down. One of the key and universal themes of all literature, I would think. Okay, so that's it for me, Mark Clark. It's been really lovely being with you. And this is number nine of my musical comedies. 
There is another um, play called Stooge the Anti-Scrooge, which is a reversal of the old uh, Scrooge story about a guy who's really, really positive, but the ghosts show him what everyone's been saying and doing behind his back, and in the end he sacks everybody. Uh, But that's another story. And also the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, I put that one to music. I'm going to do another show on that. I actually wrote a play script around it, but that's never, ever actually been played. It's never seen the light of stage, as I like to say. Uh, So that's it for today. And uh, next week, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but uh, probably go on to my rock songs, I think. Something a little bit more raunchy, a little bit more rocky. It's the stuff I like to write most of all. And as I say, thank you very much for coming to Clarkie's Closet for the last uh, nine shows. And I hope you'll stay with me as I continue to do them. We've got quite a a number of shows to go. So, well, that is assuming somebody's actually listening to this stuff. You never know. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Mark Clark saying goodbye. If you've enjoyed this podcast and all of the others of my musical comedies, please join me next week for some more of my songs, probably the rocky ones I think I'll go on to next week. If you like any of my stuff, have a listen to and a look at markclark.com.au. Goodbye.